I ain't getting out of here. This is an area here that I had read about and it's on the road going to Karatu, but I forgot what they call this area. What, what is the name of this little village? What is the name? Laiboni family. Mm -hmm. Well, it started out with a man that he had 50 wives. He's a Messiah. And by the time he died, he had 300 children. <laughs> but no telling how many grandchildren he had. And he actually has built a nation here. And these are some of his, uh, his great grandchildren and children. And it's a fantastic story, it's a fantastic story. And I don't know exactly what to say about it, but this is the village area and this belongs, this village area belongs to the family. It reminds me of a biblical story about uh, Jacob and his family, I can imagine that you can hear, you can imagine how a nation can grow from one family. It's very easy to, to do this. And so the young people, I wish I could see them, but I can't, but you can see them. And they're beautiful. They got on their earrings and their things and the young people, and they're just uh, talking and, and uh, seeming very happy. And this is Africa. This is uh, this is where we come from. This is part of who we are. And the Maasai people are just so wonderful people. Uh-huh, ooh. All right, so she said uh, the lady uh, who passed away had 12 wives, uh, 100 children, and the wife that's next to you has 12 kids. Has 12 children. She's one of his wives? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes, so 12 children. <coughs> How many boys? How many girls? <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. So they're equal, six, six boys and girls. Oh, wow. Wow, six boys and six girls. Yeah, and how old is the youngest? Eight. 25. 25. Mm -hmm. Wow, who are these little ones here? Oh, wow. And how many grandchildren does she have? A whole bunch of them. <laughs> is there one? That's the noise they love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot. A lot of grandchildren. And how old are you? <laughs> she don't remember her age. Uh-huh. Yeah. She doesn't remember her age. Number. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because they don't really count birthdays and things. Mm -hmm. yeah. How old am I? 81. Mm -hmm. I, I will be 81 on my birthday, January, but today I'm 80. I'm 80, but I was close to 81. 80. Mm -hmm. That's real old. Your name is what? Oh, Tingede. 
And do you go to school? He asked you what is your name? And you're you're how old? How old are you? Seven years old. You speak very good English. Oh yes. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So do you do you go to school here in the village or do you go to school? You go to school here? All right. Okay, good. You speak very good English. So thank you for uh, we are coming here. We enjoyed you. The children seem so very happy, and you know, it's just really great, they, a lot of joy, and it gives me a lot of joy to be here, but this is a special place because it is one of the, the places here where the families are really here, and they're established, and their traditions and their culture, and it just takes you back. And it's just very, very interesting. You shouldn't, you shouldn't uh, miss the opportunity to uh, visit if you come. And you shouldn't miss the opportunity to see for yourself a family that was started out with one man. One man and one woman, but they, he married 50 women. And so the outstanding, is this is the result of that family. He died in 2017, and when he died, he was 100 years old. I guess having all those wives kept him alive. I don't know. But this is his family's result. They have their own school here. And you saw that little, that uh, seven-year-old, that he's speaking English and he knows Swahili. And so they're learning that their natural language that they speak here is their Maasai language. Is their Maasai language. Yeah. yeah.